startling images reveal dazzling sunlight pouring through the trees and enveloping the road where the horror crash happened on Tuesday. The junction where a car can be seen waiting for traffic to slow before pulling out appears particularly dangerous in one image because at 3 p.m. the time the Duke's Land Rover plowed into a cow carrying two women and a nine-month-old tot the sun is directly in front of the driver resulting in challenging conditions. The prince was unharmed, as was the baby, but the 28-year-old woman was in hospital because of the crash and the other passenger, in the fair weather, broke her wrist. Norfolk police are conducting an investigation into the incident and have said the 97-year-old is cooperating fully with them. He has passed a breath test, but should he be found at fault for the crash, he could be fined up to £5,000 and receive nine points on his license. He could also attend a driving awareness course. Speaking of the incident, Ms. Fairweather said, I had no idea at the time that it was Prince Philip I was just thinking of the baby. Prince Philip crash, is Prince Charles furious at his father? ITV this morning, Prince Philip crash victim hits at it royal I don't think I realized that my side of the car had taken most of the impact. She said she had no idea who the other driver was until a pastry helped her out of her car and told her. She said, the lady came over and said you do know who that is, don't you? I thought it was just an elderly gentleman, but she said it's Prince Philip. Witnesses say Philip was driven off 10 minutes later. Ms. Fairweather criticized the Duke with claims he had not apologized to her following the smash in Sandringham. She did say that Buckingham Palace got in touch three days after the crash but was disappointed to have not spoken to the Queen directly. Prince Philip crash debris auctioned on eBay and bids are at pound 66k the Queen rides in car without seat belt days after Philip car crash she said, I know the Queen is a busy lady but I was really excited at the idea that she might phone me. Instead I got a call from a police family liaison officer. The news comes after the Queen and Prince Philip were criticized for driving without seat belts in the days that followed the accident. Prince Philip in particular sparked outrage after he was photographed driving a brand new Land Rover 48 hours after the incident, but without a seatbelt. This prompted police to make contact with him. A Norfolk police spokesman said, suitable words of advice have been given to the driver, and this is in line with our standard response when being made aware of or receiving such images showing this type of offence. Buckingham Palace declined to comment on the collision.